What's up, y'all? So we got the uh, 289 here. We got the oil pan off of it. And uh, I'm going to pull this harmonic balance. So this here is a harmonic balancer puller. And uh, they, they got a bunch of different style pullers. And I've seen people use like a two or three jaw style puller. Uh, like this on them. Except bigger. They'll hook the outside edge. Well, there's rubber right here. That rubber. Yeah. I might cut your light on. Uh, so if you pull from that outside edge, you're gonna it's gonna separate there. Mm -hmm. That rubber. And, uh, won't be no good no more. So this is the proper way to do it. Uh, proper tool. Sometimes there's different holes here. And. Uh, but this one has just got the standard bolt, the, the holes that, that the pulley bolts to is what we're using, so. Just like it. So there's, there's a cone that goes on the end of your puller. And it goes in there like that. And uh, there's threads in there, so you gotta be careful. You don't wanna mess those threads up or You'll have to run a tap in there, clean them up. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be cutting the, the cooling uh, little stone kind of potential new customer came in. So man. Do you used to have a job as a salesman? As a salesman? Yeah. I've been known to sell a few items in my day. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, man? Yeah, Jim was in here, so he had to go get something. And Matt did a pretty good job asking as a salesman. Well, I've been working at a mechanic shop my whole life, so I've talked to a lot of customers. It ain't no big deal, brother. It's not. It's not not that big of a deal man just another customer you know that's it so uh what we got going on here now we're gonna pull the pickup tube off of there and uh we'll unbolt the oil pump see them two bolts yeah get that out of the way <coughs> no. and then we'll start uh Popping pistons out. Get your uh, rod cap bolts here. If y'all hadn't seen the other video that I, the motor that uh, Sam, the 350. Uh, yeah, you just loosen them up. Pop that with a hammer, pop it loose. Knock that piston out. But we'll get to that. But right now we're going to work on the oil pump. You know what? Leave that pickup tube on there. Just take them two bolts out right yep. there, Austin. Mm -hmm. Just do a little time lapse. Yeah. I understand. I understand. All good in the neighborhood, bro. <clears throat> oh, hi, that's a game on. When you get done using your tools, put them up where they go. Don't leave them laying around until they get lost. I've never lost a 10 millimeter socket in my life, I promise you that. Let me tell you, the first day that a new tool came in that my dad bought, the 10 millimeter went missing. I think he took it. No. I think he took it as a joke. Well, it might not even have been there. I don't remember. I don't play around with these tools, man. That's how you make your money, ain't it? Ain't that right? What? You don't, that's, how, that's how a mechanic makes his money with his tools, so they're pretty important. I would never do that to a man, take his 10 millimeter. Well? Which we don't use 10 millimeter around here very often, but on the OBS we do. Or I will. You will, too. Yeah, when I start doing that race car you gave me, 
that you didn't act normally. <laughs> you can definitely drive it if your dad lets you. I don't care. Yeah, it's slow. It's gonna be slow. Hey, you're not lying. It is. It ain't. Where did this come from? What? Uh, uh, so. I thought that was a puff rod. And it did the distributor. So when this is in the car, these two connect. That runs off the can, which is in here. We're about to pull it out in a minute. Uh, so the can spins that, spins that rod, and that, that's how you get your oil, oil uh, pressure, mm -hmm. your oil flow. What they call it? Oil pump. What they call it? That's what pumps the oil, is the can here. Here in the can. Mm -hmm. Side. Huh? Stand to the side so everybody can see. Y'all can't even see it now. There you go. Can they even see anything? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Can you even see it? Cut it taller than you are right now. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You're sure what? <laughs> That's funny. Amen. No, you're still ready. So I, <clears throat> I got all the lifters out earlier when the customer came by. We quit recording. Uh, I got one lifter that's stuck, so I just turned the motor over to get the cam lobe to pop it back out so I can grab a hold of it. Timing cover. Timing cover. Alright, put that all on the magnet tray until we get a bag. Or you can go ahead and label a baggie. What is that? Cam, cam bolt. Cam bolt. Yep. Slide that in there too. I know you want to turn some wrenches, brother. All right, so we're gonna pull the uh, pistons out and the rods. So Austin already done loosened them up, it's a half inch. Loosen them up to about right there. What I always do is take you a brass hammer or a dead blow, whichever one you grab first in your toolbox, and, and hit it right there and knock it down. So that you have to get it off. Yeah, or be stuck on there. And then take your nuts off. Something like that. And then push it on through. Pull your cap off. I always like to set it down exactly how I took it off. Alright, so whenever you're pushing this piston down, you want to be careful not to put a Put a mar up this uh, crank with one of the studs. So I'm gonna be careful to just push it down past the crank. Once you get there, you can take your hammer. exactly how it came out, right? Mm -hmm. So then if I pick this cap back up, exactly how I took it off, just do exactly how it goes back on there. But this motor's been stamped. Somebody's took it apart before, or maybe that's factory, I'm not sure, but there's a one and a one. And on the other side, there's nothing. 
So you really can't go wrong. And then on the piston, there's always going to be a, a mark that faces to the front of the motor. See that mark? Mm -hmm. So that goes in the front, I like guess. So we're going to stick them over here in order. If you look at this right here, I could stick my fingernail in that. The groove, cut your light on. I don't know who that is, but I can. Mm -hmm. So, that's number one. Now we're going to take the rest of them out. Yep, the same exact way. We're going to do that eight, uh, seven more times. Got the crank out of here. Got the pistons out. Show everybody how we got everything laid out. Yep, I can do that. On the floor. I'm sure we're gonna have more comments about workbenches. It's all going to the machine shop, so it don't matter. But uh, little messy. <laughs> it's a little messy. But when we put it back together, everything would be clean and brand new again. But yeah, we'll send this to the machine shop and get it lined home. I don't know if the guy wants to get it bored. We'll have to get with the customer, see how far he wants to go with the machining on this, but it's in good condition for sure. Cylinders feel good. Got a real small lip at the top, which is normal, but everything looks good. Cam bearing's a little questionable, but you see now the cam was stuck in there. You see it? No, no, see that little lip I was talking about right there? Huh? See that little lip right there I was talking about? Yeah. On the ceiling wall. It's not that bad. It's doable. But, I, but that's it, man. I mean, I could clean this up for the machine shop, but they're going to clean it before they do anything to it anyways, you know. They're going to hot tank it or whatever, so I think we just need to find a pallet. Yeah, we're going to clean up, clean up our mess. We're going to find a, a skid or a pallet, whatever you want to call it. We're going to stack everything on there nice and neat, get it ready to take to the machine shop. So, uh, the uh, cranks are gonna go to the machine shop. They're gonna polish it up for us and then the block. And these uh, main caps go with the block. That way they can line hone it. They'll, and, uh, they'll, torque, they'll torque them down and everything and run a line hone in there. Um, I'm sure you can look a video up on YouTube if you're that interested. But uh, yeah, the heads are going. Um, that's it. All right. All right. Yeah. We'll go heads, ahead. crank, main caps. Oh, I'm not sure what the customer's going to do yet. Uh, as far as performance goes, so I don't know if we're going to do a piston swap or we're going to reuse them pistons or I'm not sure yet but if that's the case yeah. what's up y'all so uh me and also going to tear these heads down real quick and uh get them ready for the machine shop so like you see there there's a jam nut and then there's a a, a crimp nut 
and I'll show you what I mean by crimp. So, if you look at the end of that, it's not perfectly round. Okay. It's kind of like an egg shaped a little bit or like triangle. So they crimp the end of this that way it kind of locks itself on. And these jam nuts, I don't think they're necessary when you use a crimp nut. These things are really tight. So. But uh, you take them loose, pop this out, there's going to be your little trunnion. I don't know what you want to call that. I guess it's a trunnion, but I'll show you how to... Easy way to... Uh, they make a tool, but quicker way to get these uh, retainers out and get these valves out. Just take a whole socket. I like to use those spark plug sockets. I always got more than one laying around, so I use one just to beat on all the time. And uh, don't use your high dollar snap on sockets to do this with. So they put it on that hit it with a hammer? Yeah, sometimes they get stuck. But here's part of half of the keeper. Or the retainer, whatever you want to call it. The other half is stuck in there. But uh it's a quick way to get the springs off. And we'll do that on all of them. Once you get them off, you pick this head up. And slide that valve out. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And there's your valve. <clears throat> In the machine shop, I take care of the seals and all that good stuff. Seats. That basically it. That's it. So we'll, we'll do that. Uh, do that on this one and that one, and those heads will be ready for the machine shop. Mm -hmm. That's it, brother. Went out there and found us a, a pallet to put all this stuff on. Now we gotta mop the floor and do all that cleaning Clean stuff. Up. The part that you hate, right? No, I don't really care. Oh yeah. my god, what did that cat do? Yeah, that cat's playing on the jungle gym. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. We're gonna play some music and have some breeze blowing in here. Yes, sir. Yeah.